favor of the Redneck Garage today. Something completely different than frame or rear end, believe it or not. <laughs> today I'm going to be taking out this windshield because it's got New York stickers all over it. No, I'm taking out the windshield in the front and let me show you why. Okay, so you can tell from the gasket here that if I tried to paint the frame with the gasket on it, it'd be almost near impossible. So we're going to take this windshield out, which is in good shape, and I'm going to do my best not to break it. But if it does break, guess what? You're going to know about it. So that's the purpose. This is my Super Duty uh, tool kit that I got off of eBay, and let's take a look at what I got in it for like 20 bucks. I don't think it's a snap-on. <laughs> Alright, so this is what comes in the kit, and for the most part, we should be able to get the windshield out with the pull knife here. That's one of the most common tools that you use to remove the windshield. But these other things, that's a piano wire you can use to cut it, and it's got a urethane blade here, a uh, hook. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to try to take it out there. So let's get started on taking out the windshield. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the windshield wipers and get them out of the way. Next thing you can do is, I hate this black stuff. You just go ahead and rip your windshield molding out. All right, it should just pull out like that <clears throat> from around the windshield. <clears throat> and just go ahead and remove that whole thing. You can either do a halfway job or you can do a full job as far as like um, your paint job. If you don't take this out and just mask up to here, that's what it ends up looking like. You can see where they put bed liner on it. Then you got regular paint here. It just looks like crap. So there you go. This stuff's nasty. Look at that crap. Gross. Alright, so that was a fail. I got a hairline crack right here, so screw this. Crap! We got frame issues, we got rust everywhere, I uh, got problems with the front end. Confirm. Uh, we're seeing the same. Can we review our status here, Sire? Let's look at this thing from a, uh, from a uh, standpoint of status. Uh, what have we got on this Jeep? That's good. Alright, so here's a good look at it. You can see that there, that urethane is really thick in there, but maybe because it was too hard, or maybe, I don't even know why. Um, I may have just caught it the wrong way right there on the edge. Um, oh well. So we'll be cleaning up all this old urethane. It looks like the inner trim mold looks still good, so that's cool. Alright, we can take it off. It's just glued on. Uh, clear all the, clean all this urethane off, and it'll be ready to paint up to that edge, all the way up to the edge, and then we can install our new windshield that I'm going to have to order because I just broke the old one. <laughs> Here's the old one. I think that when I tried to cut it, that knife didn't get quite far enough onto this glass, and when I just put a little pressure on it, it gave it that little hairline crack right here. And then at that point, who cares? I just pushed the crap out of it and got it out of there. 
um, but there's the old New York plates safety inspection and uh, found it interesting the way that motor was running they must have been knocking when they got that done how'd they get a safety inspection finished no way now I've taken off my rearview mirror because we're going to reuse that and this is going in the trash Hey, with the new one installed, it looks like there's not even anything in there. <laughs> so if you're wondering what that little mistake cost me, trying to get the old windshield out is $99. Uh, and I've also ordered the urethane kit from a different company, and it's about $25 for two tubes of urethane and some primer. Um, so that's cool. We'll have a new windshield, all resealed, all painted up underneath, so I'm happy about that. I am glad that I didn't buy this on the Snap-on truck, so I'm only out $20 for removal rather than... 120 plus windshield. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of the windshield saga. You know, sometimes you win a few, you lose a few. But, one thing I do want to do is keep it real and make sure if we do make mistakes or there's something that happens that actually goes wrong, I want to show that too because, you know what, that's the real world. And we're keeping it real right here in the Redneck Garage. Um, you know, in, in retrospect, when I look at it, I believe that probably that urethane, when they replaced it, they put it in kind of thick and it went further in than that blade would actually cut and I think that was most of the problem uh, if I had been more patient probably and tried to do a little bit better job I might have not created that hairline crack but you know what when you're dealing with urethane which is really hard and a windshield those two things just don't go together and I broke it so we got a new one coming that's super cool we got a lot of new videos coming up this weekend I've got some new stuff that we're working on uh, Mitch from Rough Country, she gave me a shout out today and I'm super excited about something that's supposed to be in tomorrow from him. Thank you, Mitch. Uh, and that's going to be about it for tonight. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.